Today I want to do a quick demo on how to drill holes in acrylic and polycarbonate and other hard to drill plastics. The usual problem you have is that the area around the hole will tear out or crack. The first thing that you can do to take care of that is to change the shape of the point of your drill. So this is a quarter inch drill bit that it's actually a little dull on the tip so I'm going to use it for this. You put your drill in reverse and you run it against the grinder like this. Now this is not like OSHA approved stuff here so do this at your own risk. But you run it against the grinder so that you take off the back side of the flute. Let's do this. Ideally what you'll end up with is something like this. So you still have most of the tip intact and you've gone backwards. The edges here are, they don't have to be super sharp, but fairly sharp. But you've got this point angle that looks something like this. Okay, so now we've got this uh, sharply pointed drill bit in the drill press. And you know, I didn't, you saw from the, you saw earlier, I didn't spend a lot of time getting this to any specific angle. It's just much, much sharper, almost like a pencil point uh, versus a normal drill bit. And what I'm going to do is take this piece of scrap acrylic and I'm going to drill a hole in it for you. So you'll, you'll notice that on this drill press I have a, a piece of plywood. And it's very important when you're drilling plastics like this that you support the entire thing. So you can't just go over the holes in the drill press table or you'll still get cracking. You have to support the cut 100%. So I'm going to clamp this plastic down. Now the other thing is my drill press is set on its low RPM setting. So it's probably going two or 300 RPM at most. If you go really fast, you'll end up melting the plastic and causing other issues. So here we go. There's like a beautiful crack-free, almost burr-free hole in a piece of thin acrylic, which is normally a fairly challenging material to drill. Okay, so the next trick for drilling acrylic, and this helps even with ordinary drill bits, is to use dish soap as a lubricant. And you can just take a little bit of this and apply it to the drill bit, and that will make your cut go much more smoothly. So let's do another one, even though we know this drill bit works great, we're gonna just drill another hole. on the acrylic, but the overall finish of the hole is finer than the first one, and the chips are cleaner and less burnt. And so especially if you have an issue with edges uh, burring up from heat or other issues like that, the dish soap uh, goes a long way to making the hole better to drill. Now my final tip for drilling holes in acrylic, especially if you need to drill larger holes, is to use step drills. And if you're not familiar with these, you should get familiar, especially if you work with anything in sheet form. They're great for making larger holes, where normally a normal drill bit geometry will cause a lot of tear out. These step drills, you go in here, you get a smaller hole, bigger and bigger and bigger all the way up to the top. And then this edge geometry actually will put a little chamfer on the hole for you. You can get them in all kinds of sizes, metric and standard. and all the way up to like inch, inch and a half diameter. So they're really useful. These work best with acrylic with the dish soap trick that I mentioned earlier. So they have a little bit less aggressive geometry than a normal drill bit. But if you're gonna use them on plastics, you'll definitely wanna lubricate with a little bit of dish soap. So let's drill a big old hole in this piece of plastic using this step drill. And keep in mind, I have this supported underneath with plywood, so we're gonna have to drill the plywood as well. Here we go. Same with these, by the way, keep the RPMs low. And I'm just gonna call it there because I'm tired of this demo. So there you go, uh, a large hole in acrylic. And with this step drill, had I continued on, you can see the hole is kind of tapered. It would have It would have gone right through. Um, but yeah, so those are some ways to 
drill clean holes in acrylic. I, and it's funny to say clean and see this sawdusty thing, but you get the idea. Sharpen your drill bit to a point, use dish soap as a lubricant, and use step drills for larger holes, and you'll have a great time.